Hi everybody, there is a special case about square roots. Today I will try to teach that special case. So, if we have square root of a plus or minus 2 times square root of b. If we have this kind of case, we must find two numbers. We must find two numbers like m and n, which their products m times n makes b, which their sum m plus n makes a. So, if you can find such that numbers, you can make these expressions simpler like this, square root of m plus or minus. If there is plus, you put plus. If there is minus, you put minus. Square root of n. When you write these two numbers, m and n, you always need to use the bigger one first. We must use the bigger one first, always. So, there are four types of different questions which we can use this rule. Four types of questions. So, the type one, square root of 19 plus 2 times square root of 60. We can use the rule directly in this question to solve this question. Now, let's see the type 2. Square root of 9 minus 6 times square root of 2. In this question, we can't use the rule directly because the number before the second root is not 2. There must be always the number 2. So, this is the rule. I will keep it there always. Now, let's see the third type. In third type, we don't have any number in front of the root, second root. Also in fourth type, we don't have any number in front of the second root. Now let's start to solve with the first example. Now in this example, we can use the rule directly. We need to find two numbers which their product makes 60 and their sum makes 19. So, I will look for possible cases. 1 times 60. This is a possible case. 1 times 60 makes 60, but 1 plus 60 is not 90. So I will eliminate that case. 2 times 30. 2 times 30 is 60, but 2 plus 30 is not 90. After 2, the next number is divisible by 3. 3 times 20. It makes 60, but 3 plus 20 is not 90. After 3, is this divisible by 4? Let's check that. Let's think about that. Yes, it is divisible. 60 divided by 4, half of 60 is 30, half of 30 is 15, so it must be 15. So 4 times 15 makes 60. 4 plus 15 also makes 19. 4 plus 15 also makes 19. So these are the numbers which I need to use. So I must write square root of one of them. Between these, there is plus, plus times square root of the second one. So remember that we always need to use the bigger one first. Which one is bigger? 4 and 15. These are the numbers. 15 is the bigger one. Square root of 15 and square root of 4. So we can make this first expression simpler by writing square root of 15 plus square root of 4. So this is the second step of the question. In this step, we check these roots once again. If there is something else which we can simplify, we need to continue. So if there is not anything to simplify more, we leave it like this. Square root of 15, we cannot simplify it. Plus, square root of, I can simplify it. That's why I will continue. Square root of 4 makes 2. This is the simpl simplest form of square root of 19 plus 2 times square root of 60. Now, let's see the question number 2 or type 2. In this type, as I have shown before, before the second root, we don't have the number 2. There must be the number 2. So, to make that 2, I will write 6 as 2 times something, if I can. I must write 6 as 2 times something, if I can. So, I can write 6 as 2 times 3. 9 minus 2 times 3, square root of 2 we have there. Now, I need to leave 2 in here. To leave 2 in here alone, 
we need to move 3 inside the second root. So, if we move it inside the second root, 9 minus 2 will stay in here, 2 stays in there. So, when you move 3 inside, square root of which number makes 3? We must think about that. Because when we move it back, it should be 3 again. Also, remember that we take square root of 3. We take square root of 3. 3 squared makes 9. Or 3 times 3 makes 9. And we have a, another number. We had two, the number 2 inside of the root. So, 9 times 2, 9 times 2 comes here. So, let's calculate this product. So, I'll continue like this. 9 minus 2 times square root of 9 times 2 makes 18. 9 times 2 makes 18. So, now I have 2 before the second root, so I can use the rule right now. So, I need to think about the numbers which product of them makes 18. 1 times 18, yes, okay. 1 plus 18, but not 19. 2 times 9 makes 18, but 2 plus 9 is 11, so I cannot use these two. After 2, I can divide it by 3 also. 3 times what makes 18? 3 times 6 makes 18. Is 3 plus 6 9? Is it 9? 3 plus 6 is also 9. Yes, 3 and 6 are the numbers which I need to use. So, which one is bigger? 6 is the bigger, so I will use the bigger one first. Square root of 6. So between them, there is the subtraction sign, and square root of the other number is 3. So square root of 6 and square root of 3, I cannot make them simpler. So I cannot continue anymore, I will leave it like this. Okay, now let's go to the example number 3. Oh, in example number 3 and example number 4, we don't have any number before the second root see that. So, we will check the number inside the second root. For these cases, we will check the number inside the second root. So, if this number is divisible by 4, I need to use 4 times another number. If this number is divisible by 4, I need to use 4 times a number. For the fourth type, I cannot make it 4 times something. But, in this one, I can make it. So, Firstly, let's see that if I can make it, how to solve? Square root of 16 minus between them. Instead of 60, 4 times something. I can divide it by 4. 60 divided by 4, we did it before I think. It was 50. So, why do I need to use 4? Because I need the number 2 in here. 2 before the second root. Now, I'll take this 4 out of the second one. So, let's write the rest again. 16 minus... Now, this 4 comes out as 2. We cancel the root for it. And 15 remains there. Now, look at the example. We can use the formula right now. Before the second root, we have the number 2. So, I need to find two numbers which their product makes 15. 1 and 15, 3 and 5. We have these choices. 3 plus 5 makes 8. It should be 16. 1 times 15 makes 16. So I will use 1 and 15. 1 plus 15 also makes 16. I will use 1 and 15. So the final answer, let's write it here. 1 and 15 are the numbers. So I must use the bigger one first, 15. Between them, there is minus, so I, use, I need to use minus, and 1 is the other number. So square root of 15, can I make it simpler? Nope. It's, it's like that. Minus square root of 1 is equal to 1. I can make it simpler. That's why I made one step more. Now let's see the last case about this. The last case, there is not a number before the second root, also the number inside the second root is not divisible by 4. I cannot write it as 4 times something, 4 times something, and I cannot take this 4 out. I cannot do that operation. So, 
what do we do for these? The thing which I need, I need number 2 before the second root. To get that number, so what can I make? I can multiply all of these by 2. If I multiply all of these by 2, I may have there square root of, or I may have there 2. So, to make that operation, the idea for this, when you multiply any number, like x, by 1, the result doesn't change. It is equal to x again. So, instead of 1, I need to multiply it by 2. So, I will use square root of 2 over square root of 2, which makes 1, times any number equal to itself. So, I will multiply this expression by square root of 2 over square root of 2. This is the way of solving this last case or this last type. So, the number which we make 5 plus square root of 21. So, let's clean this upper part because it will confuse us when we continue. Now, in numerator part, I need to multiply square root of 2 by square root of 5 plus square root of 21. In denominator part, there will be only square root of 2. So, let's write this one first. Let's keep that out of our minds. So, now we need to multiply these two roots, square root of 2 and this one. So, I can multiply both of them in a single root. So, there will be 2 times, 2 times the things inside of the second root the things inside of the second root. There are several things. So I must write them inside the parentheses 5 and square root of 21. If there is only one number, we multiply them directly. 2 times, let's say 10. 2 times, let's say 20. We multiply them directly. But here we have an addition, several things. So I will write them inside the parentheses. Then I will use distributive rule over addition. So, now I need to multiply 2 by 5 and 2 by square root of 21. Let's continue from here. I need to make a bigger root sign. 2 times 5 will make 10. Look at that. 2 times 5 makes 10. 2 times plus square root of 21 stays like that and in denominator part we have the other root 2. So, look at the numerator part we have the expression which we can continue 2. There is 2 before the second root. So, how can I make it? I need to find two numbers which their products makes 21. Let's write those numbers in here because I don't have place right now in here. I don't want to confuse that. So, this part is the part which we do in our minds. So, we must guess it. We must find this. Which numbers? For 21, we don't have many choices. 1 times 21, also 3 times 7. 1 times 21, if it was like that, 1 plus 21 will be 22. So, it's not the 1 which we need. So, the other choice, 3 times 7. Look at that. 3 times 7 makes 21. And 3 plus 7 makes 10. So, these are the numbers which we need to use. We must use the bigger one first. Square root of 7 plus is between them. Square root of 3 over square root of 2. So, 7, 3, and 2. I cannot simplify it anymore. This is the final answer. I hope that you can learn by listening to this video. See you.